All right. Is you or is you ain't ready? Is you? Is I'm not you touching ready? my computer anymore. All right, we're starting <clears throat> in five, four, three, two. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Bow Black Girls Podcast. I'm Aries. And I am Kim. What up, though? What it up? What it up? What it do? Man, we're still... What are we on, like, week four? Man, we're definitely in the day 30. It's... We're definitely, like, on day 30, 31, somewhere around there. Cause I, feel I was like... going to say, because I think I was working from home before the 16th, so yes. Because the boys were in um, spring break, and then the 16th was when the That's school right. closed. I just messed up. Oh, right. There um, so, yeah, we're, <laughs> we are in the house for real. And like I said, they're going to keep piecemealing us and till the end of the summer. I'm pretty sure. I don't think that we're coming out um, until it's going to be a minute. Even though Texas. All conferences are. Or will be canceled. Festivals, Essence Fest just canceled. I know. That's hard. Um, that is. Texas trying to open back up. I can't wait to see what kind of plans they're talking about. Uh, they're going to, you know, um, open up safely. You know, I'm like, what do you know about safely? You don't know nothing. We don't know enough. Everybody needs to just sit down somewhere. I mean, I know it's hard because there are workers and people. They don't want to come out with no more stimulus packages. But they're gonna. they're already in the talks of another stimulus package because that's not enough for it to that's last, not. you know, people. Other countries are doing like monthly payments to people. We're the only one that's like, y'all get one check. <laughs> one time. And that's it. Um, so. And you better make it on that 1200 Look, I got my check. I got my check. Uh, I was, I said, see, it paid off to not be working last year. <laughs> <laughs> I got something out of this. Cause if you I was working, out of it, right? right. I'm like, Hey, I'm gonna just go and stack my little coinage. Be grateful for it. Right. And now they want you to go out there and spend it, but I say, save it. Right. I put it straight up in my uh, savings account. Excellent. I'm That's already spending money that- in the economy right now on Amazon. I know Amazon is making money. <laughs> they getting all the calls right now. Um, so who else is that increase in sales? Um, uh, bikes, definitely gro- seen all the groceries, you know, bikes and uh, like the outdoor stuff. You were the second person talking about a trampoline. I heard somebody else talking about it when you said that last week, um, somebody else talked about it. And even Amanda Seals, I think she talked about getting a trampoline too. I'm serious. Like the only reason I'm not someone mentioned, it was like, what if you hurt yourself? I mean, or that's what if. That's uh-huh. and actually, and you do have to check with your homeowner's insurance because I do believe the homes with trampolines, there's something with the the homeowner's insurance that's affected by um having one. And I could and I could see that because one bodily injury as well as as a injury not injury, but messing to up your something. home. Say mm-hmm. it's a tornado. So I thought about that. I was like, eh, no, nah, I'm gonna have to wait on that one. Do uh are you do you have an HOA? I do. And then I think you got to get approval from the HOA to put in the backyard because I guess the height. Okay. I don't see. So it's all these rules. I in ground trampoline. I want an in ground trampoline. I would get an in ground trampoline. Because it's low. Yep. That would be kind of fun. I'll come over there and jump if you had an in ground for fun. And I would send the kids over there for sure. (laughs) You know, I'm going to send them over there. I would get it. I actually want a pool in my backyard, honestly. Mine ain't big enough, really, for a good pool. Yes, it is. We have a community my pool. Got one put in. See, I don't have one. You don't have a community pool? No. I mean, I would like to have one, but at this point, I feel like I'm halfway. Your backyard is big. And I'm halfway through the. <laughs> I want them out. Like, when they leave, I don't, I'm not going to want that. You don't want them coming back. Yeah, but you know what? You like to have gatherings, so that I would do. actually be. I only gather once a year. Okay. And then if I had a pool, do you know how many people be trying to come over my house? Okay. Let's go over your house. Pool party at your house all summer. Mm-mm. Yep. I go to somebody else's house. <laughs> I don't be wanting that, and I don't want that pressure. You're really not an extrovert. You're ambivert. I am. I'm like, mm. we do the Christmas party at my house every year. 
I'm good. That's really the only big gathering that I do. I don't really do much. We do girls' nights mm-hmm. and stuff like that, but mm-mm. Right. y'all That's stay true. over there. Don't, I don't want to clean up behind people. So, yeah, speaking of that, my so. cleaning lady, I've been just, um, I really miss her <laughs> a lot, Aww. especially since we've been in the house, you know, a lot more. But it is forcing the boys to start. They were already cleaning up behind themselves, but, like, being way more conscious of, you know, making sure we're taking care of our space because we're in here so much now. It's like you just feels like you're cleaning up all the time. I got yeah. up. I get up cleaning like a little Proverbs 31 woman Aww. before 7 a.m. The crack before her household, she's up Child, doing that. I still boil water to buy my floors. So, Lord Jesus. Boil it? Yeah, because that heat. My water really gets, gets really hot. Super, yeah, mine does too, but I heat that water up and you hear, you see that steam come off the mop off the floor. <laughs> That's that old school. It is. I mean, I use hot water when I mop. But um, my water goes up to like 135 or something. I tested it one time. I think it's 140. It gets hot. It will burn you. Wow. It will burn you. Um, bring it, Come over here and uh, mop my floors for me because I don't. I hate mopping. I will. Uh, so that time when we were at your house for the party and that guy wasted uh, the drink on the floor, I wanted to mop your floor because I was Girl, very upset. I mopped with it him. the next day. I was like that. It was so sticky. It I can't was. Uh, it's the worst because it's like it takes forever to get that stick off when you walk past. That's you why like, you pull mm. hot water. That hot water will get it right up. <laughs> and fa- fabuloso. Girl, yes. Or pine saw. You got to go. Oh, you so. You saw that meme going around says uh, put a cap full of bleach in your uh, dishwater. Mm-mm. And they said black people been doing that. <laughs> oh, they were talking about like prevention for. Yes, this, COVID-19. We've been cleaning, though, so that ain't... We was cleaning up their some, house. <laughs> I know some people that put a cap full in their bath water. I'm like, people that's just not, not okay. People just learning how to clean because we was the ones cleaning up. <laughs> Shoot. Y'all just learning the so, tricks. We've been doing this. That's true. That's true. <laughs> so speaking of COVID-19, how are you maintaining since we're like on week four? Girl, I'm good. I'm good. I'm still kind of on the top end of things. Like, I feel like I'm above water, you know? Yes. Um, As far as mentally, emotionally. I've been seeing a lot of people. I was reading something on Instagram, and I think it was Tia or Tamara. I think it's Tamara. Oh, she was crying. Well, to me, it's the one who had the short hair, not the one that's on the reel. And okay. she just was saying that... Um. She's been dealing with a lot of anxiety and stuff like that. And and I just was sitting there reading it like, wow, I'm blessed because I don't have yes. those feelings. I really don't. Um, and I know they're real and they're valid. And I get why people have that. I'm just counting my blessings, basically, you know, for yes. things that I don't have right now. Because I might be like that next week. Um, but I'm just kind of staying on top of the positive part. Um, I mean, I had my yep. birthday yesterday. I know. We're recording this really later than we typically would. This would be out. This It would have been out this morning. But um, yesterday, I didn't feel like it. And um, we've been kind of busy. So I was fine with doing it today because I was like, you know what? So remaining, I know, right? Remaining, you're still remaining busy in the midst of a pandemic. Yeah, yeah. Trying to keep my mind. I have to keep my mind doing other things because I just don't want to be sitting right. around. Laid up, not doing anything. Well, I, exactly. I know on the last podcast we had mentioned to people that you don't have to come out making having an NBA, right? Right. Um, but some personalities need to stay busy. I, I'm one of those personalities. Um, like you said, I still have a schedule. I'm still on the up. Like mm-hmm. I don't feel like I have any anxiety. Uh, I sleep well every night. I'm probably sleeping too much. <laughs> you take um, a lot I of sat on the couch. I just sat on the couch the other day and I fell asleep. And it was like eight o'clock. I have not fell asleep on the couch in ages. I don't really get to yeah. lay on my it's couch. I always got feels- these kids. They all up on it. So oh, it's well. usually I got one up under my armpit and the other one, he's stretched out. So it's like. Yeah. Thank the Lord. Yeah. I, I'm, that's not my season. I know you're, you're a blessed woman. I know. I, I really am. Kiara and I were on the couch together, so we were under the same cover, but she was not up under me. Yeah. 
I mean, I like it because right now, honestly, it's the only human interaction that I have. I know. Just think about it like is, it, people who don't have anyone to hug. Oh, like you're at I home know. by yourself. You're social distancing from everybody. You're not getting any human touch. I'm wondering. We talked about finding out the data from all this stuff afterwards. Like, how is that going to affect people post corona? Because you know they say when kids don't get touched when they're new. Borns, uh-huh. it stunts your growth. The less physical touch oh, you wow. have, it can stunt your growth. You know, I had actually thought about volunteering at the hospital to go hold babies. Oh, uh-huh. yeah, I really did. They're so cute when they're in the hospital. Exactly. They're so easy it's, to please. It's that aftermath. They just need their little bottle and a little. But I don't know if they do that anymore. You know, with just how we are as a in the world. Period. People, somebody you can't run even off. go to the school. Yeah, you can't even go up to the school nowadays without um, showing your ID before you actually enter. True, which I'm grateful. Which for. is a good, yeah, I am too. Protective measures. So yeah, I'm, a, I'm on the up and up too. Um, sleeping well, eating very well. I um, am too. I have not gained any weight, so I just want to make sure I'm that I get give me some credit. Right. I ain't gained no Corona 15. No Corona 15. Yeah, I've been walking. I haven't lost none either, exercise. though. <laughs> That's all right. I'm That's just maintaining. Right. I'm staying right in my... Actually, I lost a couple... Like, a, I think I lost, like, a pound. It wasn't nothing significant, but still. Um, yeah. Trying to just be conscious of what I'm eating. Not going crazy. I'm not snacking a lot, and I don't eat a lot of food. Um, I don't buy a lot of snacks. And if I buy snacks, they're pretty much, like, nuts, fruit, Things that healthy things to um, snack on. I think what my setup is, if I don't, if I were to buy junk food, I would eat that. So I just don't buy it. Mm-hmm. No, no cookies. Almost. I was tempted to go get you some birthday cookies. Yeah, I'm so glad you didn't because I got a cake today. Um, so let's talk about this. Yesterday was your birthday. Yes, it was. Hallelujah. Blessed to have another year. Definitely not the way that I plan to celebrate my birthday. I don't think any of us planned any of this stuff. So um, I think for the number one. how did you celebrate? For the number one Zodiac sign, you know, we like to start (laughs) off the the celebrations. And I usually go on a trip. And I was supposed to be in Cuba right now. Um, And so that obviously got canceled. And then um, we usually do a party. So. None of that happened. But because I have other girlfriends that also are Aries, we did a couple of different things. You know, we did, um, what did we do? Uh, Stephanie, her birthday was the day before mine. So she did a, um, we set up a virtual paint party, which was super fun. Oh, I, that's cool. I really thought it was going to be like kind of not fun. Boring. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, that's whack. But I'll set it up and, um, I basically just set up the meeting so we can get on there. And sh- and everybody had um, their, they went and got canvases and some acrylic paint. And how many, I think there were one, two, three, four, five, maybe like 10 people that participated, which I didn't think that many people were going to participate. And so we had to draw names. So what she did was she had put all the names in a little thing and went like this. And like she got on um, Marco Polo with me and was like, okay, I'm drawing your name now. I'm not going to look. And then she opened it. I mean, and then just put it to the screen so that I could see it, but she wasn't looking so that we could pick somebody else and we had to draw another person in the group. So um, that was hilarious. I mean, I was very shocked. Most of us had really nice pictures. There were two. You all, I think that I were saw them. They were really nice. Like everybody did really well. There were two and a half. The one that was drawn to me, I'm like, you could have did better than that. Um, he just, <laughs> I think he got paranoid like about not messing up, and so he didn't. He did one of those abstract paintings of my face where it was just, you know, on the um, Good Times video where they don't have faces. <laughs> oh my god! So he took a picture of me. That was his inspiration picture. It, he caught himself doing the little faux locks. And then um, no face, just lips. I'm like, you could at least gain me some eyebrows. I don't think I saw that. I'm like, you could have gave me some eyebrows. 
Can I get eyebrows done? That's what everybody kept saying. I mean, you got to give her eyebrows, at least eyebrows. That's your thing. That's your brand. Exactly. I'm like, I don't have no makeup on right now other than um, I got my eyebrows filled in and I got some lipstick on. That's it. I didn't put no other makeup on today. But I'm like, then my eyebrows going to stay on. Okay. That's what you need to do. So, but mine was like pretty good in the list. Um, People were voting for it. So that was fun. We did that. And then on my birthday, I really just sat around the house. <laughs> no mm-hmm. kids. You were off. Their dad. Yeah. You t- were off. I took off work. My job gives you a birthday day off, which I was like, I love this. Um, Their dad kept them um, until the evening because usually he would have brought them back the day before. But he kept them for me for another day. They came back that night. But um, and then you brought me some lunch. I had my my crab. Oh, I literally stood up in the kitchen and ate. <laughs> like I stood by the sink and ate. Um, because it was messy. You know how crab is. It be getting squirting yes. and all that stuff. I'm like, Mm-mm. so I didn't want that all on me and stuff. Um, so I sat in the kitchen. I should have told him to put a bib in there. I know, right? And then um, Lauren sent me some flowers and some chocolate, so that was cool. And then Angela sent me a cake today. It was supposed to come yesterday, but they messed up the delivery or something. So she had to tell me about wow. it. Um, me and the boys, they sang, you know, I lit the candles and stuff. It was real cute. What else? I'm missing something. I feel like, um, my daddy sent me some money. What else? Nice. I said, with friends like y'all, I don't need no man. What do I need a man for? Oh, I got well. flowers. I got lunch. I had cake. I got some money. I mean, what? What else? Well, y'all had not been COVID, and you would have been on on a trip with your girlfriend. So it's like when you have a good village and good friendships, it helps. It is very hard. Yeah, it fills those. I think it's sometimes we're looking for that from a person, which I think it's actually healthy because it doesn't put pressure on one person to be like, oh, let me think of all these things I got to do because I don't like that. Don't put me under pressure. Like, let me just do stuff because I want to do stuff. I don't like the pressure uh, pieces of, like, relationships. Um, yeah, so that was really cool. I mean, obviously, there's, like, this internal struggle of, like, I'm super grateful to have made it another year. I'm grateful to have great friends yes. and family, like, people who love me, all the well wishes, all the things people wrote about me on social media and stuff like that. That felt really good. And it made me – I was. I feel like I genuinely was just, like – I'm a blessed woman, you know, like I'm just, you are loved. Yeah. So I'm like, that was, it, it, it made me feel good that I'm adding value to my friend's life, you know, reading what they were saying. I'm like, really? That's how you feel about me? You know? Um, so that was cool. You know, getting your flowers while you're here. Um, while you're literally. Here. <laughs> and, um, and then the other piece was like, dang, this kind of sucks to be sitting up in a house on your birthday doing absolutely nothing. Um, just you know we're just in a different time so you gotta really are. learn how to kind of adjust to this new norm for now and and you know it's, it could it's be like worse people are saying now you're like hey stay safe right yeah stay safe and healthy we're seeing something different so i was like how are you doing i'm like i'm great i woke up i'm not yes sick. i'm that waking up and thanking god and took on a whole new meaning of working like whole new meaning oh thank you lord for breath like literally and no um, coughs. And some people really struggle with the birthday thing. And I've seen stuff on social media where I'm like, you're that. Now, I'm a celebrating type of person, you know. But yes, some people are so stuck on the fact that like, I'm celebrating on my birthday. I don't care. Blah, blah, blah. And it's like you're willing to risk other people's lives to just say you celebrated for your birthday. Like, that's selfish to me. And so no matter how much you want to celebrate, I feel like we need to be very um, aware of like how this can affect everybody else in our community, you know, of friends and family Absolutely. and loved ones. So, um, all is good. All is good. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy too. How are you hanging in there? Just fabulous. Just good. fabulous. I'm staying busy. Good. Um, being productive, working on some things that I hope to share over the next couple of weeks. I so, you know, hopefully I'll be able to share some good news mm-hmm. you and 
you know, attending webinars when I can, right, on downtime. Like Salesforce has something that they call Leading Through Change, and you shared mm -hmm. it with me. Yes. Uh, Mark Cuban spoke. <laughs> they even had Lionel Richie one day. I don't know what he talked about, but um, they have weekly sessions, right, with, I guess that they're hosting for their customers, like tra leading through change. Like all of this change is impacting us, right? Yeah. How do you get through it? And I think you're even working on something, the every Fridays with the Connect ATW. Fridays. Mm -hmm. Connect Fridays. And so I think that's good because one week it was um, someone talking about how you manage through this change. Then one yep. was professional development, right? Per working on your pivot. And I yep. think this Friday is going to be LinkedIn. LinkedIn. I can't wait for that. I'm ready for that. I told him, I was like, I'm going to be the number one uh, consumer of this this one. Cause well, I tag me on it when you post it. Yeah, because that one I like because right now is more important, more important than ever to have your professional digital presence um, cleaned up. I know I feel like I, I'm on LinkedIn. I'm in there doing stuff, but my, I want my LinkedIn to be a lot better. Um, I don't know exactly everything that he's going to talk about. I know he's going to talk about like social selling. He's going to talk about um, like your brand on LinkedIn and how that, you know, how to develop that and all that. And, and right now, because we're virtual, that's all you have. We can't go to networking that's events. All you, have. you know, there's no networking well, events. There there's is one going on. I think there's one going on that's there virtually, right? Right, but I'm just saying you don't get that face-to-face -face interaction. So there's a way to communicate virtually where you can still kind of get that same um, personalization, I guess you would say, or like the um, relationship building online, right? There's a that's way to true. do that. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, there's so many people that we come across that don't even have their LinkedIn set up. You know, and I'm like, well, right now, that's all you got. And these jobs are laying people off and you don't want to just be starting that. Like we got to start being prepared for things way ahead of time before you really yes. need them, because the pivots are happening quick. They are happening. I'm quick. I'm a witness of your job calling you after you just came back from a birthday weekend. I came back from a trip one time and for my birthday, a, a regular vacation, and they called me to tell me I got laid off. And I'm like, um, I was supposed to be leaving y'all, not the other way around. Because uh, I had in my mind that I was going to leave them, like, within a couple months, but I hadn't found anything yet. I was already looking, but they came quicker than me, right? So it's like, oh, oh wow. shoot, well, hey, let me get out here. So you don't want to be trying to figure things out. You want to keep your network growing and building those relationships when you don't need them. So that's true. Um, that's the kind of stuff that I've been that's really true. interested in and in looking at. Yeah. And you've been my muse as well, because, you know, you created um, some content and you're very great about like keeping the um, LinkedIn community engaged. Mm -hmm. So I tried to level up in 2020. We've been got doing to level it, girl. Up, right? I've been trying to do a little some some. We got to add value that's to each you, other. That's why you need good friends. Iron sharpens iron. Right. That's so true. And so. They hold you accountable. Good friends hold you accountable. Because, you Good know, one thing inspire you. with you, like what I like is that you always are very authentic to yourself and your personality. And I think we've kind of over the years, I think when we talk about like code switching and stuff, right, you buy into this thing of like, oh, I got to be this certain way. And I do believe that we're in a time now where bet on you, bet on what you are, who you are, how you do it. People want unique. We don't want a whole bunch of clones of the same exact thing. Everybody looking the same, talking the same, all that. And so I think when I started really getting comfortable and out of that imposter syndrome, and it would make me uncomfortable sometimes. Like me and you be somewhere, and you will just be like, <laughs> you know, I'm like, <laughs> like, is that like, le just like learning how to really walk in your authenticity of like who you are. Right. Like, you know how you be like, kill a Kim. <laughs> and I'll be like, <laughs> Is that okay? Like, Did you really say that? Yeah, and so, but I think that is what people see, you being genuine and being true to yourself. So it's like, the more, because I find that the more that I'm myself, that's what people are like, oh, yeah, like, drawn to you that's even true. more, you know? So you definitely got that part in the bag for sure. We just got to start sharing. <laughs> well, thank you. We got to share that information more with people so they can know how to balance that, you know? Absolutely, because um, as we know, uh, we talked about this a couple podcasts ago that COVID had no color, 
but we now realize that um, we are one of the most impacted races from COVID-19, not from just health, yeah. but also financially, because we're the ones being furloughed and we're essential workers, right? Yeah. So we're more susceptible because we're putting ourselves out there. It, it highlights all the problems we we already had and we knew we had. Um, yeah. And they always say that any underrepresented, you know, kind of um, minorities, they are going to be the most affected by any kind of changes that happen um, this way. You know, this pandemic just was like, psh, highlight all the things, right? Um, so I'm hoping I mean, that... The statistics are scary, too. It is, because it's places where we're like 14% and then we're like 70% of the cases. You know, and it's like, like, how are we this small of the population, but that much of the death, right? And we got to think about that even more. So with regard to when they start testing and getting the antibodies and doing vaccines, don't come up in here because now they're targeting those as hot spots, right? So they'll be like, we need to test this new vaccine on y'all. No, don't come up in here testing on us. Go test somebody else. And then we'll find out because we might be desperate, uninformed and, and just, go with anything it takes a while to create a vaccine typically they say that's 18 months yes. and they're fast tracking all this so that means they're not going to go through all the thorough checks that they usually do as what you know they're going quicker so i won't be the first one getting that vaccine let me just put that out there yeah i won't be either i might not get it at all I'll let them yeah so well, you know, I don't like needles. So I have a video to show you. I need to send you over YouTube. I'm not. <laughs> is a it fan of you needles, getting? So. Um, is it you? A shot? No, no. <laughs> That's I would I never let say. anybody. That would never let anybody record that. That's heck of funny. I don't. I used to be like that, but I don't care no more. I just be like, let me turn I my. I mean, head. I'm okay. I'm better now. Ever since I had surgery, right? So you had to get pricked a lot. So mm-hmm. I had to just suck it up. Um, but before then, I would have Kiara come in and hold my hand and. That's a I couldn't handle it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was like, you had a baby? I was like, yes, but I didn't have an IV because it went so quick. Lord Jesus, we got to pray for you. But you made it so, this far. You all right? I'm all right now. I'm all right. So tell me this. Birthday, you had a great birthday. You're going to have a great week. How are you continuously to pass time? Same old, same old. Man, I feel like the day has been going by quick. I want them to slow down okay, a little bit. I'm like, just me. I'm like, I want them to extend this work from home. I mean, you don't have to worry about that, but I do. So I was like, I'm not ready to go back. You're not going back. They're not about to make you go back no time soon, child. They're not about to just make you go back. Because all you got to do is say, I'm concerned. I, I'm i scared. I don't want to go. They're not going to make you. This is true. They're not about to make you. Um. I just feel like it's too much unknown. They haven't done enough to prep us to be ready to be back around people enough. What, masks? That ain't enough. And and you just think about it, just the, even the interaction of, say, where we are, we have contractors sit on top of each other, right? You can literally reach out and touch them. Those open that workspaces? That has to change. Yeah, that totally, ha- that whole open floor plan, now because of COVID-19, that is not I hated it anyways. Too. I hate that because I'll be Let like, you, you don't know who's been sitting here and you got to clean the desk every time you go in there when you hotel desks and stuff like that. Mm-mm. I'm good. I was a fan of the high cubicles. Me right? too. <laughs> you couldn't see who was walking past your desk. They didn't know if you were in there. You could hear people talking. Know- yep. You didn't know how long they were, how long they had been gone. Because I'm telling you, with those short cubes, people are like, oh, I just saw you. You were, you were. You they monitoring your schedule. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you weren't with me when I woke up and I logged in. So. Don't you hate those people that monitor your schedule? Yeah. Like, what time? Oh, she didn't get in until such and such time. Or she left early or blah, blah, blah. Mind your business. Mind your business, Karen. Mind your business. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been seeing that? <laughs> Have you yes. been seeing those on Twitter? Yes. That makes me yes. laugh. I don't know if y'all um, out there in podcast world have heard about, this just came to me right now, girl, about Karen. And I never really, I'm on Twitter, but I'm not on Twitter. Like, 
I get on there every so often, but I'm not like on Twitter all the time, being a part See, of I everything. I prefer Twitter over Instagram. Right. So I'm more Instagram than Twitter, but I go on there every so often when someone sends me something, then I'll go down the rabbit hole of the comments and stuff like that too. So apparently, um, and I don't know exactly how it started, but I know that there was some white women who were complaining about the fact that people will say stuff like what I just said about when you make that. I would think Becky would be more of a, a you know, a word they would have said was offensive, so right? Too. When you use the term referring to a white woman who typically, it's a certain type of white woman. It's not just in general. It's like the one who's calling the manager <laughs> or calling the police on you. <laughs> You know, yeah. in the neighborhood, you know, stuff. And they'll just, people just say, like, Karen. You know, that's the name of the lady. Her name probably Karen. And so they're like, Karen is like, um, just like saying the N-word or whatever. And, and black Twitter went crazy, basically, on that. Um, and they start using it in place of the N-word <laughs> in their sentences, which is just so funny. They're like, I, 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 I went down the rabbit good. hole. I said, why do you always got to go back to the N-word? Why we got to keep getting included in people's just, like, what they want to say is offensive? Why do people got to always go back to the N-word? I don't know. I wish they would stop. Right. Like, y'all keep on bringing it back. It's not even something that we focus on like that. At all. So it's like, We're trying to move forward. Right. And we keep on getting pulled back into everybody's offense. So you're offended by people saying, Karen, so why you got to bring up the N-word? They don't got nothing to do with no N-word. It don't have nothing to do with black people. It don't have nothing to do with nothing. Focus on your own discrimination and offense that you feel like you want to take about somebody using the word Karen. And um, I was like, I can think of a whole bunch of other names (laughs) that people use when they're doing that. I thought Becky would have been more offensive, too. Yeah, Becky, Billy, when they're talking about little kids. (laughs) Yeah. It's certain names that just kind of. So, yeah, anyway, I just went all the way left on that, but that made no, me laugh. Tw- Twitter can keep you entertained. It can. Tell you that. It can. People are creative. I'm like, they people really are. are creative when I get on there. I realize how much people got, how much time people have on their hands. But, yeah, um, time is going by quick for me. I'll and be I'm ready. Like, okay, so we have what less than, think about it, if they're saying if, if, in quotes, we're going back April 30th. Um, we're already at the halfway mark. We're not going nowhere in April 30th. I told you they're going to we'll just keep peace go- milling we'll, us. We'll see what the Texas, the governor of Texas says because he wants to open it up. So Texas might be going back. It depends. Him doesn't. On your job. That's true. Like, if you have a job where they're already like, okay, we're staying from home. I think there's certain policies that are in place that are, you know, we're here now. Ain't no point. I'd rather us... Stay closed until we get through this, then to reopen up prematurely, and then we'd be right back. You know, get out, then come back, and get out. That's, I'm going to just stay put. I think I'm just going to stay put the whole time. That's just like, you know, once you catch pneumonia, you're more susceptible to catch it again, going in and out. Um, So you got to protect yourself, build up that immune system, and prevent (laughs) yourself from getting it again, right? Yep. So I'm like, I'm cool. Because in the fall, they say it might be coming back. You know, like, even I if it heard. goes away. Because, like, the seasonal flu or whatever, I guess. It's just too much. Let me just stay my butt at home and order online. So we're going to be working from home the entire year of 2020. 2020 is done. Face-to-face, I feel like it needs to just, it's just going to be a wrap for 2020 for conferences and stuff like that. You might be more willing to spend time with, like, your friends in a little bit because we'll be like, girl, you've been quarantined for 30 days. I've been quarantined for 30 days. Let's just get together. You know, I think that'll happen more. Yep. And, and friends you trust because, you know. People be lying. I told my homeboy that. I was like, people going to be like talking today, like guy friends or, or girlfriends or whatever. Like, you've been quarantining. I've been quarantining. What's Quarantine. up? I was like, I am that person. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But, um. I don't have nobody, so I'm good. I'm safe. Look, even more yeah. safe. This is a good time not to have nobody. It really is. Cause cheating take on a whole nother uh situation. You get caught up on some on some some cheating by delivering the coronavirus to somebody that ain't cool. It's That's worse like, than the STD. Right. I'm like, you just came in here and breathed. 
<laughs> That's you it. You coughing? Right. Where have you been? Hold up. I thought you been in the oh, house. Oh, you want to sneeze. Right. right. <laughs> what you allergic to? Child. So, yeah. Um. Same old, same old. I feel like my days are going by quick because I have been like doing stuff, mean. which is probably why, like, like you weekend, said. Yeah, the weekend went by quick. I feel like Easter went by quick. I feel like that whole weekend went by quick, even though, you know, like, the weekends we might be hanging out um and it seems like it's going fast it's still it still is going fast for yeah. me yeah yeah same here. i watched the clock the clark sisters movie that was good um, it was good i enjoyed that i love kiera shear i did me too. she played a, she played our mother really well and i learned a lot i did not know about uh nice. maddie moss oh maddie moss was not playing no games out here in these streets but i grew up listening to the clark sisters so when they got to the part you brought the sunshine him. that was a song like we used to sing that at church and um it just brought back a whole bunch of memories from like my childhood in the church and they were kojic we were paw which is pentecostal assemblies of the world where we was just like no pants no music no right. secular music like that whole nine because i was like yeah i was like why won't she let her in because i kept thinking like why won't she let her in and she's like you have on pants i'm like Wow. I remember having school clothes that were all skirts and dresses. Like, I did not have no pants. I hated it. I hated it, I tell you. I couldn't wait till I could get me some pants. Um, But, yeah, <laughs> we grew up like that. Because my mom was married to a Kojic preacher, and we were Pentecostal. So it was just, like, all the way. We used to sneak and listen. My sister would sneak and listen to, like, BBD and stuff like that. <laughs> you had to sneak oh, and wow. listen to music. Um. We were glad when it started evolving out of that. But, yeah, so I really did enjoy that movie. It was good. They did a good job. I didn't know that. They really did. Mm -hmm. So I watched that. Um, time has just been flying for me, too. We're both still reading the book. Um, yes. I tried to wait to let you catch up, and you surpassed me. Well, then you surpassed me because I didn't go to 10. I still ain't at 10 yet. I've been paused. Okay, I'm, I'm on 10 now. Okay. I'll catch up tonight. Yeah. And I'm watching catching up on like shows that I typically wouldn't get a chance to watch, you know. Um What are you watching right now? Oh, I finished All American. That I might start really that. Good. I haven't started it Ooh. yet. We're st we just started um, Black Lightning yesterday. I like Black Lightning. The boys they they like that. So I was like this really is a good cool. one for them. So honestly, we just bought Disney Plus. I'm a, I'm Here on the I fence. Am. I'm I, Oh, did we? Look, wait. Yes. Oh, did we? We did. <laughs> yeah. So, Kiara, look, look, look. <laughs> yes. So, we got Disney Plus because guess what? I thought about it. I was like, so if a conference is canceled, this is canceled, I won't be you going You're saving in. money. Let me up my entertainment at the house, right? Um. So, I'm a big Disney fan, mm -hmm. and um, I wanted to be nostalgia because I used to love DuckTales and Chippendale, Duck and that was my Ooh. stuff. <laughs> that was my show, too. <laughs> So we're going to, uh, we're planning to watch a couple of our favorite Disney uh, shows. So like Kiara has her era, then I have my era. So we're going to mm -hmm. watch each other's era of Disney. I like it. Any other good things that are on there that, have you seen anything else? Did you get the bundle with Hulu and ESPN Plus or you just got Disney Plus? No, I just did Disney because I already had Hulu, right? But you And we just bought it. We bought it for the year. So we pay for it, so we don't have to pay for it for 12 months. I was going to say, do you get, they couldn't bundle those two together? I feel I like they should be able to bundle, bundle that. They, it is a bundle, and I think it's twelve ninety nine. And so yours is cheaper than that? What you got? So what we did, so I have Hulu for $5, five ninety nine mm dollars -hmm. because I think I'm grandfathered. And so we just did um, Disney. It's six ninety nine, but when you prepay for the year, they knock off um a certain amount. So she's going to get charged every month. Oh, good. So we just paid it up front. I don't like because those guess what? every month things. I don't like my card being debited It's like, like too that. many things. Don't touch my account. I want it to be savings, your check coming in, and like your mortgage, um, light bill, water bill. I mean, if I could put all them in one, I would too. Light bill, I water bill. I would too. I'm a, I'm a bundle chick. Like bundle yeah. me. Give me a combo. If yeah. you feel like I'm saving something and it's all in once. So, um, yeah, we paid for it because guess what? I might decide I, wanna, I don't want to renew yeah. after 12 months. You might. So, yeah. So, I guess we'll be watching some Disney shows, you know, once we get out of this uh, 
quarantine or come over there and watch uh, a couple of Disney shows. Mm-hmm. But yeah, mainly All American for right now. Um, I can't think of any. Oh, Insecure. Yeah, that's that came on Sunday. So, I really, really um, like that show. I do too. I, I like do that too. Show. So, I'm looking forward to um this season. I don't like the fact that it's so short because I feel like it's less. But than it was minutes. that much last time. It was like 32 I minutes know. or 34 minutes, and, and she needs to extend it. Well, that's why they, it's the draw, you know. I don't know. I feel like the quality might go down if you try to do too much. It's true. So You're I'm right. glad they did add a couple extra episodes, though. So I think we got 10 episodes um, okay, when usually I think it's like eight or nine. I don't know. But I know it's more episodes than it usually is. So I'm okay with that. Mm-hmm. I like the first episode because it was so many little people. She was a typical awkward black girl in this episode. I'm like, oh, my gosh, she's so awkward. It fits her right. whole awkward black, black girl thing. Um and she plays that role so well. Um, really well. So when she found out about uh, old girl, you know, messing with her ex, and she's yeah. like um, trying to figure that whole thing out. I like. I feel like she's maturing this season. As far as the opener, she she felt like she. It seemed like she got more mature. Issa, she seemed like yeah. she was trying to mature at least, and so that Molly. Issa relationship is going to be interesting to watch because shift. yeah, it goes back to that whole thing of like when you and a friend are growing in different directions and maybe you're not there and they're there, you know? Um, so I can't wait to see how they kind of play that out. And you can already see the dynamics. Cause she's Molly. I've been she in her, off. I've been in her position too. Cause I think she's just not where she wants to be right now. She's trying to play like, yeah, because Yep, because you saw with that guy, you know, she was like, he's like, well, you know, we're dating other people, right? And she's like, right? Like, no, no, I'm not dating other people, and why are you? Right, well, see, they hadn't had that conversation. They didn't have the communication early on, obviously, on what they were doing. So it's like, if you just now finding out that, oh, boy, is talking to other people, well, you knew y'all wasn't exclusive. That's true. So he's like, uh, you are too, right? <laughs> That's an awkward conversation, right? We like, Very um, awkward. of course. <laughs> yeah, duh. Yeah, I'm dating other people. No. I mean, and then she's all in her feelings after that. It's like, come on. <sighs> so, yeah, that's going to be very, very fun to watch. And I also like the show within the show. You know how to do the show within the show. Um, They had, t- what's her, is her name Terry Vaughn? Terry Vaughn? Is that her name, the one who played? Oh, yes. Yes. The one who played on um Miss Steve Harvey show. The Harvey show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um uh, her, I think Cole from Martin Cole Brown. Yeah. Name? And uh who else was in that? It's Somebody a show else. That, it's, a, it's a show that I could go back and watch again because I'm not a big fan of like repeating things over. Insecure is something literally She's smart. You can go back and watch it and see something that new. you didn't see the first time. Yes, new stuff. Portia from uh, like Real Housewives, yeah. Ray yep. J. They all were kind of in that little show within the show. So that's just cute. I like it because she gives you that whole independent kind of vibe. You know, Issa has that independent film, no-name actor, person, you know, like that's just quality um, experience. The music in the show is always oh, the bomb. Yes. Highlighting artists. I think somebody has a playlist. We need to check Cousin Mitri. I bet you he has created a playlist. And you know there's a podcast, Insecurity, right? That Yes. With so Crystal. I plan to listen to it. Did you listen to it? Mm-hmm. Crystal and Fran. I love them. They're so cute. Um, I I'm would love to it today. Yeah, so they went through the whole episode. I thought that was cute. cute. So, yeah. Anywho, that, I like that show, too. It's a good one to keep up on for the weekends. And what about oh, you? What are there's you another show coming oh. out to uh, Friday, Black AF called <laughs> on Netflix. Yes, that's gonna be yes. good. I hope they play, put the on, whole season. Fri- yeah, Friday. Yeah, I hope it's the whole thing, right? Netflix usually puts the whole thing, and you just go through it and watch, right? 
So. Yeah, because there is some other one that's on Hulu um, with Kerry Washington. I'm going to start that one. I don't I can't watch think of on the name. Something, was it? Oh, gosh. It's on Hulu. Okay. And so they're breaking out the episodes, just releasing them week by week, which I don't like. I don't like that either. Give me all of them at once so I can do it at my own, on my own time. Right. Um. Yeah, um, I'm still reading our book, too. And um, I just, me and the boys, we've been trying to watch something black every... <laughs> I'm just kind of culturing them because our environment is obviously not the same one that I grew up in. And I had a whole different influence of movies, music, things that were just around me on a regular basis. Naturally, I have to fabricate that for them at this point. Like, Oh, let's watch these certain movies. They're cracking up. They're learning more about me, honestly, by watching some of these movies. Cause they're like, you be doing the same stuff. You know, they don't think I'm just a crazy black mama. Cause on all yes. the shoot, all the movies, the mamas be doing the same. You know, it's like the same kind of vibe. So they're like, "Oh, this is just kind of how it is." You know, I love it, and this uh, is the perfect opportunity to do that, right? You have nothing but time. We're learning a lot about each other, um, and that to me is one of the most valuable pieces. I mean, obviously, we get on each other's nerves by the time the week is over. Usually, I'm ready for them to go to their dads, um, <laughs> but we're all those hours, you know. So it's yeah, it's fun. Hard. Like they're 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 funny. We laugh a lot. It's like I'm learning a lot about their personality and vice versa. So we got to take that's advantage good of it. In this moment, I told somebody like, "You need laughter." You do. Go look at something funny. Stop watching like, the president every day. Go look. On, he ain't talking about him. I don't even watch it. I can't even watch. I it. Like, watch I'll go it. On Twitter for my news, and I'll look on like um, Apple News for my news. And I will watch the news once in the morning, like at six o'clock. Okay. And I usually do a, the evening a bonus, thing. A bonus might be 10 o'clock if I can make it to 10. I do so. the evening thing when they do the little update only because I want to see Dr. Fauci and anybody else. <laughs> when he gets it going, I just kind of turn it, mute it or whatever until I, I see somebody else. I don't catch him. Unless they talk about something good. Um, but yeah, I don't, I can't. He's just too much for me. I'm like, I can't believe that. He really has this authority. I just can't. I just, it's, it's every time it amazes me. He just talks. I got him down at this point. Like Michael, I, I, we usually, when he comes on, we'll text each other laughing about stuff that he says. And he's like, dude, you got him down pat. Like I could just, all the stuff he says over and over the same stuff. It's just too much. I'm like, I need some quality programming. I can't deal with you and all this talking and ranting. Yeah. So yeah, um, girl, it ain't so that much. That kind of goes into like, what are you we feeding ourselves? So this is a good point. Like, you have to be cognizant of what you're feeding yourself. Yeah. Um, limit the news. I mean, they've said that plenty of times. Like, yeah, don't sit up there with the news on. Turn it off. I'm even like playing music throughout the day. I think anxiety makes you want more information. Um, I cause I know for me as a person, I haven't really had a lot of anxiety, which is crazy. Cause I'm typically an anxiety person. So like if I'm afraid of something or I have a fear of something, I usually learn as much as I can about it because I, it helps me kind of calm myself for whatever reason. At least I think that's what it does. Um, exactly. like if the weather's crazy and I'm on looking at the weather map and I'm like, okay, it's only going to be this long and. It's just going to be, you know, this much happening. Like, I'm looking at the map and the radar all day. Um, Same thing I think people are doing with this. They're just going in and trying to learn everything about it. And some of it may just be to, you might just need not to know. (laughs) Like, just know what you need to do, protect yourself, and then go do something where you're laughing. Go watch some Martin episodes, another thing that I've been doing. Um, Stuff that just keeps you, your mind off of it. Can I pet that dog? <laughs> TikTok is a good way too. Watching those TikTok videos are hilarious. I'm over the don't rush challenge though. Please, I don't I don't want to see another don't rush challenge. You don't want it anymore. No more. Okay, so please, I'm liking Jesus. the ones um like the firefighters. I'm right? over it. I'm no. over it. I'm over it. Okay, I've seen the firefighters. I've seen the army or the military people i've seen the moms i've seen the workout people ah i'm over me and the girls i saw somebody do one that we said we were gonna if we did it what it would be which is you're in it and then you do the little camera like this 
and then you come back and you still you put your you had your bonnet on and your pajamas, <laughs> like you're back. You still in the bed or oh, you're yeah. like not. Ch- I'm like I'm not about to do like. It's just getting kind of played, and then some of them people don't be looking good after. <laughs> they doing the little camera and then come back and that new one ain't looking that great. <laughs> I saw one. It was like um, mother and daughter, right? Which I thought was kind of cute. I just mm-hmm. saw it today, but I was like. It might have been one I saw. No. I was like, Mm-mm. I was like, Kiara, you would have probably looked like my sister. We wouldn't have. They were like, who is the mother? Who is the daughter? Right. Y'all do look like sisters. Um, Yeah, I'm just kind of over it. The song now is starting to get on my nerves, which I really was liking it. I know. But it's just like you keep hearing it every freaking post. I didn't even download t- TikTok on my um, phone. So I just, if I see it on Twitter. It's been or... on, well, I'm on Instagram a lot. So that's why I see it a lot. Because, you know, that's kind of, people come on Instagram and post it. Even if they did it on TikTok, they post it on Instagram. Because a lot of people aren't there yet on TikTok. So they got to, like, cross, just like we did with Facebook, until people start kind of easing off of Facebook and more on Instagram. They're doing the same thing with TikTok. Remember, remember Vine? Do it for the Vine. I ain't going to do it. Right. You're going to do it. <laughs> yes. So I wonder how long is TikTok out here to last? I don't Think know. Think about that. Well. It's really taking over some of the other things that people are doing. You know, it's a different form. Um, and right now we have people have time to go on social media, right? So people are making up different things because they're at home, right? Mm-hmm. So you're make, coming up with TikToks with the people in your house, getting creative, and you're just being like, "What are we gonna do? We, bo- you know, bored or whatever they are." Boredom and, creates creativity. If it you does. Let it. Look, we had a virtual paint party. We would have never thought about that. I wouldn't have. Angela and Billy and uh, Steph. That was their, you know, Angela's brainchild. Um, she's good with that kind of stuff. But, yeah, I'm like, I would have never done that. But now I'm like, I'm about to buy some canvases for me and the boys. They said they want to do some. So I'm Aww. like, that would be fun. Like, we could totally do that. That would. Have one of them paint me. I like it. And we just do each Play other. Play some good music. Yeah. It was very therapeutic. Like, while we were doing it. so oh, we I love painting. We had a meeting like this. All of us were on. You know, we all had our little stuff set up and we couldn't see what each other was painting. But we had one person was playing some music in the background. And I'm just at one moment while I'm just really focused because I get competitive with stuff like this. Right. I'm sitting there like I said, this is very therapeutic, you guys. And they were like, it is right. Like because we kind of got quiet. We're just listening to the music. We're just painting. And then what every come like 15 minutes, we were like sip, sip time, <laughs> you know. Uh, oh, I love it. So that was really fun. I said, now this felt good. Like, it just felt like. I remember you came to time. my first birthday outing. I did. We I still got painting. that painting in my room. I still have it, too. That love was Anchors. Love Anchors. Love Anchors of Soul. The Soul, yes. Yeah. That, and that is actually one of my favorite, like, verses about anchoring. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I love Anchors. I that love was Anchors. A, that was a fun one. I have that one and we I have a line. Yeah, that was when I started trying to venture out and meet people. Because well, I didn't know I'm nobody you but decided. you. You knew, you did. Um, There were some people there that you knew. Maybe you knew one Kenya. or two from um, from the gym. Yeah, whoever from was the at gym. the gym, knew, I kind of yeah. knew. Yeah, but not really. I mean, I wasn't talking to nobody. But like. that painting is therapeutic. I do like painting. Kiara and I did that one day as a mother-daughter, like, date. And she was like, I needed this. This is so therapeutic. So I need to do it again. If, uh, like you said, maybe I need to get my own canvas. Maybe me, you, but and um, Kiara and the boys can do one. Right. Maybe, you, remember I told you that this girl was doing it and you could just drive by, pick it up, and then the you kid. walk onto the Zoom? Yeah. They did the same thing we, we did then. Well, we got our own kids. So that's a way that you were feeding yourself emotionally and mentally just mm-hmm. to kind of disconnect, right? I love it. Yeah, that was good. I didn't even know it was going to be that. And it turned into that. And it still helped. Yeah. Fun stuff. It is. So we've been doing a good job with feeding ourselves mentally, physically. Physically, what are you doing? What are you doing physically? This week, I did not do a lot physically because I flat ironed my hair the other day. And I don't do any movement when my hair is flat ironed. (laughs) (laughs) So it's like, cute, by the way. I just pulled it in the ponytail today because I just didn't feel like having all this hair. It's so much hair. I got so much hair. Um, People paying for that, child. You better. I uh, know. I'm not complaining, her. but it's it gets to be a lot. 
I'll be ready for it. I want my braids back. I'm so over this. I'm all about the protective styles. I do not feel like I'm like, I need can just like these brothers that have been going to get their hair cut on the slide, acting like they not getting their hair cut, getting edge ups at their right. barber's house. I'll be like, Can somebody teach me how to corn roll or something on instant on uh Zoom? I heard that they're doing that. <laughs> my beautician, she's hosting like some virtual classes where if you want to get on with her for thirty minutes, she'll teach you how to do like cornrows or how oh, to wash yeah. it and stuff like that. But I pretty much know how to take care of my hair. I just like right. braiding would be a good thing to learn how to do right now. It would be a good skill. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. So spiritually, we are reading a Bible plan together. Yes. Uh, we just ended one and we started another one. So, um, and I- I'm loving the fact on Easter, like I was at different churches. We was church hopping on, su- on Easter Sunday. Remember that? I said, girl, I went to church at 8, went to another service at 11. I would have never been able to do that in real life because it's too many people. And we were going to churches that weren't even in Texas. Exactly. So I'm like, our church, I did our church at 8. I did, I did, I do, I think I did a Good Friday service too at our church because they did a singles and single parent uh, Good Friday service where Jada. Yeah. And then, um, I did our church at 8 o'clock. I did transformation Yep, at 11. And then I never do T.D. Jakes because they do that play every year, and I'm over that. Like, I don't like seeing that. Did they the, do it this year, though? They might have reenact. I think they might have did a replay of, obviously. A previous year. Yeah. I didn't look long enough to tell because I just was like, I don't feel like seeing this again with them uh, reenacting it. But, um, yeah, it was a good, I mean, you never could have had that no other time. I know it was definitely different for people, and I'm, I always wonder about that with, like, the elderly, how they do oh, with not. You know, that's a big year. Especially that's, if they didn't have, especially if they don't have, like, internet to go, you know, because they're used to getting up, going to Easter service, Easter Sunday, uh, Sunday school. That's the You're big right. Super Bowl of church, you know, that is, is Super Easter. Bowl of if you are a Christian, Easter is everything because that is why we are what we are. That is why we are what we are. That is really the hope is the re- the uh, resurrection. The resurrection. So it's like if Jesus didn't resurrect, we don't we don't have no hope. Period. There is no Christian at all because that is everything. Because it's it's the it's the promise that on that great day you go your body gonna be resurrected with that same power that resurrected him. So. Um, we got to have our Easter, you know. Um, so some people dressed up though. I saw. On, I like, saw Facebook, that too. Like, which I think okay for normal. That was cute. Keep things normal, right? For the kids, still dye the egg, still do the Easter egg hunt within the house. Be creative. Mm-hmm. I didn't see anything wrong with that, right? Something to look forward to if yeah. that's what you want to do. Yep, do what makes you feel good. Um, my kids were at their dad's. They did a kids service. Um, so I sent that to him so they could watch the kids Easter service, oh, at least good. get their Easter on. But, um, I, I thought about getting dressed and then I was like, nah, I ain't going nowhere and I'm not about to post no pictures. So, right. Well, I didn't get dressed, but I did get dressed one day this week for work See, and job. I put on my famous red blazer. So. That was a call to action last week. To get it dressed. was. And I think yeah. that. Um, I put on the blazer and I was like, okay, it's fitting, it's still fitting good. Good. And your power that blazer. Tell you, That's your networking blazer. That will tell you. That's my networking blazer. <laughs> that that will tell you if you've gained weight certain clothes. Mm-hmm. I was like, it's feeling it's feeling good. I and put some jeans put it on. on you, it might motivate you to go run around the block. It might. I put some jeans on. They were still feeling good. Nothing. Oh, I don't like jeans. Yeah, these were like these soft ones I just got. Um they're jeans, but they're kind of like legging-ish Legging. jeans. They have a lot of stretch give to them. I don't like wearing no pants that don't have no give. You got to have some give up in there. Yeah, I need some I stretchability. Cut up under the shirt. <laughs> right. Yeah. You up in there losing <laughs> your circulation. Uh-uh. So one day I was like, am I? I was like, is my stomach bleeding? These pants are so tight. <laughs> <laughs> bleeding. You crazy. So, yeah. Make sure you're still putting on your clothes. Right. Because I am. And the yes. only thing I'm ordering are shoes because that size ain't changing. Not changing at all. 
I need some new I'm shoes. I'm not ordering clothes. That might be my little investment for this year. Get me what? a couple more. I'm not really big on shoes. I never really have been, but I need to get a couple. I need a good couple quality um, pairs. I believe in good shoes, a good mattress, and a quality man. A quality man? <laughs> <laughs> quality shoes. What they say, a good bed so you can sleep right. Good shoes so you can walk right. Come on. There was a third one. Something so you one. can talk I, right. I what's it, what's the one for talking right? <laughs> right. But, like, you don't want to sleep bad. Get you a good mattress. That's true. I'm about to buy the boys some mattresses, too. They need some new mattresses. So, well, little this things. This is the time to get different things. Yeah. Yep. I'm getting me some bedding for my bed. I want it to look prettier since I'm in there a lot more now. <laughs> some nice, pretty uh, bedding. Make it look like I'm a. So Queen. things look things that used to matter, right? That didn't used to matter now matter more, and vice versa. Correct. Things we thought was super important that we're like, I don't care about that no more. I think All we right, got to pay well, attention so to those things a lot more as well, because there's some people that's do. not gonna make it out of here with you. And I ain't talking about because they died from the coronavirus. I think because they're just gonna die off from not from you seeing the real. And then um, prioritizing yourself. Prioritizing is key. Please go get the book that we're reading, you guys, Relation- Relational Intelligence by Dr. Darius Daniels. It is so good. Oh, my gosh. It is like a study guide. It's a good book. So we're reading um, up to the release of Pastor Michael Todd's book. So we're hoping to be completed with this book before we read his book. We're going to be completed. I'm going to fast forward my reading. Um, Even though I want to read it twice before. I'm really enjoying it. I'm really, really enjoying the book. Me too. I think I just don't want to get, I don't want it to be over with. So I'm stalling. But, um, and then we'll get on to relationship goals. Because he's going to start a new series. Relationship reloaded or something like that. Yes. And I think just. Filling ourselves with this is a prepare us for when we are released into the world. Right. To be amongst other people. People are losing this. They might be losing their social skills out here. This is true. I halfway call thought your of friends. Yes, call look, your friends. I went boy. into the grocery store the other day and this lady had a whole conversation with me about her boyfriend. And I said, ma'am, I'm just getting paper towels. <laughs> She's like, please, another human, talk to me. I ain't That's mad okay. at her. She needed some interaction. That You need some interaction and you need some vitamin D. So either take a pill or go outside and go walk. Yeah, we might go walk today, actually. It looks pretty yeah, nice. I think I'm going to try and catch some before the um, sun goes down. Get these boys out of the so house. So I guess this might wrap up our session of self-reflection and introspection and your birthday podcast. I know, um, right? Oh, Lord. necessarily our call to action is i would just say really it's a repeat of last week continue to give yourself grace yeah um continue to go put on those work clothes so that you know you can still fit them so by the time is time is uh time to go back to work you can still fit them and And work on you while you're work on just being a better friend a better um whatever your role is in in your own world um, cause that's all only thing that we can control. We can't control the coronavirus. We, you know, we can control our co- contribution to it, you know, and not spreading it. So please stay home if you can, if you're not an essential worker, please stay home and social distance, um, be responsible with your relationships and your friendships right now. Um, and just be reflective. That's something that we all can do looking at people that we have in our lives and, um, you know, recategorizing them possibly if necessary. Right. So, yep. Yep. We'll, um, see y'all, I guess, um, we will, we were thinking about doing something on Instagram. I know Kim don't want to go live, but we gonna probably go live on one of these days just for fun. We can go live. <laughs> Better hurry up before I need to go to the beautician and stuff. Start locking up. Oh Lord. You have real locks. Right. That's why I took mine down. I was scared that they was going to um, be locked up for real. I was like, you know what? Let me get these up out of my head. They've been in here since January. So, yeah. Um, oh, no. 
I have to get these up out of here. Anyway, um, anything else you got? No. Um, just wash your face on you. Figure out, yeah, figure out what are you, um, where do you want to be six months or a year from now? What could you be doing to, you know, get yourself in a different position? Do you want to still be at that same job? If not, this is the this is the perfect time to start looking, especially for jobs. People are hiring you guys. Um, I know we're going through a lot of economic crisis and all that right now, but there are some jobs hiring. Um, please update your LinkedIn profiles because they do post like almost every day companies that are hiring lists. They really I've, do. I've been sending them to my nephew and everybody else that I come across. Like, uh, they're hiring. Let's go find these places. Well, um, and. The information and some of some some companies are still interviewing, even yes, now. They are. Yep. So, you know, God got you regardless of I told Kim, I said, our God can bless us through a pandemic, through an economic